Hey, I'm back at the hoarder house. I'm gonna go in and help. Bubba's doing a clean out here, so I decided I'd trade a little bit of labor for the first opportunity to find some of this stuff, dig it out, and maybe, hopefully, buy some of it. Let's go take a look. Hey y'all, this is a great sale with some great finds, but it's not your typical garage sale video where we're running a camera and then we leave and we buy something, we talk about how much we paid for it, we talk about how much it sold. We were just collecting footage. I didn't buy every single thing that you're gonna see in this video. The owner decided to keep quite a bit of it, but we did buy a bunch of it, and some of this stuff is awesome and it's gonna sell for really good money and we're really happy about it. If you're used to us showing the what solds and you like that, Go ahead and grab your phone out and I do talk about a lot of the items quite often through the video and you can look some of them up and some of them are really good and we're excited about them. If you want to see what we did buy and what we're selling them for, come on over to the Commonwealth Flipper channel and you can check us out over here. <laughs> I just, I don't even know where to start y'all, but I saw this drawer and I'm like, I'm going to come look at this drawer. Oh, I should put my glove on. Look at this. Time out, fireman. These two batteries has no battery back patches and whatnot. I'll dig through there see if I can find a couple cool things. Nothing amazing. Let's grab a few things for the boot. What do you got? What's it say? Mule hide products? It's got a brand on the inside. Made in USA. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Set it out on that porch rail out there and I'll go look at it. All right, so Bubba's already gone through these boxes, but I figured I'd come out here and just kind of check behind them. And I found a couple cool things, nothing amazing. But that's cool, I like it. And a little cassette player, no headphones with it, but that'll work. And Commonwealth Grammy needs that. So we're gonna pick that up for her, that DVD player. So I pulled a few books just out of this one really quick. I probably should go through here with a fine tooth comb, but there's so much to go through that I just don't know what I want to do, but check that one out, even with the cover on it. Uncle Remus, love it. AB Frost. These are, these, this one's a online seller, but these are the kind of things that sell really good in my antique booth, just because people love the Edgar Allan Poe. Although that was not in great shape. They just love to have those books hanging around. Let's see what else we can find. All right, Bubba keeps pulling out boxes, so I'm just looking at them out here. It smells a lot better out here than in there anyway. And check this out. I found this thing. That's cool. I don't know what it's worth, but Lake Placid, one of the most famous Olympics, certainly Winter Olympics in American history. Cold War. I love that. That's got to be worth, you know, 15, 20 bucks at least. Got a tens unit right here. It looks like it's complete. Doesn't look like it's in bad shape. You usually go for around 30 bucks. So, I don't know exactly what some of this stuff is. But, I don't know. It's worth looking into some of it for sure. What else? Oh, a Canterbury Cross medallion, which this is not silver, I don't believe. Definitely not, but still cool. Got some value. New in the package, Kodak card. That should be, I don't know, 20 bucks maybe. We'll see. What's in there? Some old, old thing. A top? This thing. Oh, music box. Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's in rough shape. Yeah. Uh-oh, will you grab that bag for me? Yeah. Please. Well, how come it was working when you did it? Look at that. It's like a powder. Uh, it's, uh, you, I guess you powder your nose with it. Well, you don't, and I don't, but somebody does. Got a mirror on that side. Uh -huh. huh, that's kind of cool. A porcelain. What is that thing? The Christmas nail. A tree trimming tradition. Hmm. There's some pottery, coal. Boy, I'll tell you what, there's a pottery wheel downstairs. And now we find some pottery. What is this here? Curiosity Inc. we're watching. 
some poor knockoff of Curiosity Inc. <laughs> that is cool though. Look at these. Huh. Check that out. Frost King. Reed does these too. That's like perfect Commonwealth picking right there. This one I think I'm going to put back in here. It pains me, but I think I'm going to. Look at me, y'all. You know it's serious when you bring... When I bring my bags, you know. Let's go inside. I'm going to take a break from out here. We're going to look in this back bedroom for a minute until I can't take the smell. And then I'm going to come back out here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Bunch of money. <laughs> Gotta get my lunch back off. Holy moly. I don't even know where to start. Well, I'm gonna shut the camera off. There's an old Ninja Turtle towel. If I find anything, I'll turn it back on. Or I'll go outside again. What's this doing on the floor? Whew. Oh, so. Napa, Napa cigar for yeah. you. Cool box. Duff oh, check it out. Y'all, that makes me happy. Y'all gotta find some of these. I mean, that one's not worth a ton, but. Yeah, I know. Uh, if y'all find a hoard of these, let me know. I found, uh, there's some stuff in there, too. Okay. Not much, I don't think, All right, but... I'll check it out. Elton John, thank you. Yeah. That needs cleaning. I don't know if that's gonna be worth. I don't think that's gonna be worth the time. Crazy. Oh yeah, there you go. A few of them in there don't look like they're in great shape though. But definitely worth looking at. Magnetic game. You know me and my magnetic replacement pieces. I don't know if that's what I need to be messing with in here though. No world. Huh. Interesting. Out and put them in a pile in here. Nothing in there, just a cool old case, I guess. Alright, I went through this and it's just not in good enough shape to get, but these little Sony ones, a little cleaning, they're probably ten dollars plus shipping. I'm a sucker for this stuff. I just love Sony, old Sony stuff like that. I'm gonna grab these, but I don't think I'm gonna grab these. Oh, you found another game. It's not one of the good ones, but we're going to put them all together in a big lot and get them sold. These aren't Dr. Seuss, but they are, so we'll just keep them all and put them in there. Lunar Pool. I've never heard of it. I'm going to look it up. Found another one for Turner? Yep. You're a good brother. Anything I've in here? through this box. Leave we'll it right leave. here. I'll go through it. Okay. All right. Hey. Hey. I don't want this stuff. I'm just going to put it out here in a box. Is that okay? It's a bag of stuff. Okay. Yeah, I'll I'll bring. Yeah, I'm done with those. I don't think I want any of that. Me out here, bringing out VCRs and not telling me about it. Yeah. It might be a little. I have to plug it in and see if it works. But that's a blue line, model number V four five two one. If that one works, it's fifty dollar VCR. Right. Well, maybe not fifty, but it's a if it works. Yeah. So I'll have to plug it in. But yeah, if you see any more VCRs. Do you want a box? There's boxes. I, I'll fill, once I fill those up, I'll get it. Thank you. Look at this. Acoustic guitar strings. Yep. I wonder if that's worth anything. All right. Thank you. So this one's, I mean, it's not hooked up, but it was, looks, it looks like it's working. Fast forward's good. Rewind is good. Uh, yeah, bring it out. What the heck? Green one, you said? Yeah. Ah, it's worth looking at. All right. 
Oh, yeah, leave it down there. I'll come down and look at it in a minute. It's amazing. So this is Tickle Me Elmo, and it looks like it's the original, maybe. Tyco. It works. $14 plus shipping. And what else did I find? There's a Woody. Yeah. Although I don't think that is great Woody. So we'll see what else we find in this one. Keep bringing them out, brother. This box wasn't here when I looked through this earlier. <laughs> oh, I hope that works. It's all right. Got Shack 2000. And looks like nothing. I'm wondering if you put this box out here too. I think I've looked through this one already. Yeah, I think I have. I'm always looking for those vintage tees, but I don't see any. What would Jesus do? I'll tell you what he wouldn't do. He wouldn't be looking through these. He had better things to do. Hmm. Pretty cool though. Smith Mountain Lake, Virginia. The Cove. Old shirt. What kind of tags? Look at that. Look at that tag. That's pretty cool. Single stitch. I don't know. Might get a local buyer. Just don't know. I think I'm gonna grab it. You put a box out here and didn't tell me. Put a box out here and didn't tell me because I found him in it. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, what's up? This is pearls. Do you know? Be careful. He said so How to find out if they're real or not. Wow. Or how much they're worth. I know you know about gold and stuff. Ooh, they're falling apart, huh? Yeah. Okay, well. I don't, but I'm gonna find. I'll figure out what we can do. But I just put this aside and take it to his house for now and yeah, that's what research it later. Those are freshwater pearls. The thing that gets me though, this is a plastic case. So whatever was in this case wasn't real. But yeah. it says blue topaz, and these are pearls. So plastic case usually means it's fake. But I think they put it in here after the fact. So you oh, got to check weird. it out. Hey, when you're looking for shirts, this is the kind of look at the tags. You see these old tags right here? Mm -hmm. So made in the USA. And then look at the bottom. If there's a single line of stitching, yeah. then keep them for me and I'll check them out. I haven't checked out the clothes. If it's a box of clothes, I'd I I hear you. That's fine. I don't blame you. Every time I walk past the kitchen, I see that thing of Tupperware and I just can't resist it. Might as well. Might as well get it. It's just going to drive me nuts. What is this? I don't know what not to. Mama see you in that. She's going to be in trouble. So far, I haven't found just a knitting needle much in here. Some part time picker action. Towel is cool, I guess. 1990 Mirage. I don't know, throw them in the washer. Might be worth keeping this brand on the box. Let's we'll take that. They look like they're handmade. I'm kind of cool. Broken. I don't exactly have a full set, but some may be. CD. So mostly Christian. We're all Christian CDs. Elton John. Ray Charles. Sting. Tunes. I'd like to just start 1991. I cleaned it up. That's probably 15 bucks. Yeah, Pretty cool. Okay. All right, so this looks like a ton of work, but check this out. I saw this. This is <laughs> pretty cool. The old McDonald Big Mac. Look at that. Love it. I'm gonna grab that. A miniature Tupperware thing. What's that? Magazine. Mm, usually not. It depends on what the magazine is. All right, I'll check. Yeah. All right, I'll check them. Oh, a bunch of miniature Tupperware. I've never seen this. It's like a place that. I'll take a look. There's some Weebok, old Weebok shoes, but I don't want to clean them in there. May not work that much, but it's I saw tough. there's some more of those downstairs. Real old baby stuff. Oh, yeah? There's some old baby clothes in here for sure. 
enough. Y'all are probably seeing stuff thinking, why aren't you getting that? But I don't, there's so much it's overwhelming. Hmm. Vintage baby stuff. I know there's a lot of money in it, but somebody else will have to make it. This is kind of a cool box. I'm just, I need the time to go through. Look at that thing. Looks like mostly like McDonald's type toys and stuff. But there's, you know, there's bound to be a good one or two in there. It's a Dalmatian one. Looks like that's what it is. I might pick a few out. Animaniacs. Pretty cool. 1993 Animaniacs. That's what that is too. Alright, I'll dig through. And I'll let you see my pile when I'm done. Alright, I didn't find anything amazing. But the Nugget Buddies and this guy right here is pretty cool. That's a Corgi. I saw that before. I don't know. Nothing amazing. I like Animaniacs. I don't know about this one. This one looks like it's an old one. 89, 88. So, nothing amazing. Garfield. I love Garfield. I've been finding little things here and there. I find a, a book with hundreds. Jake has been taking all the change out there. You know, if you, uh, <laughs> if you, um, yeah, you know, a 1943 pocket. penny's worth a million. Four poly pocket pieces. I've looked all my life for one night. I've oh, got several we'll nights. Stormy Chinkatig Island. That's too cold. I just saw my booth. That's pretty cool. Oh, that looks like it's full. The Phillips. Not too bad. Memo recorder. Simpsons. Season 8. Oh, I still gotta look at all these Barbies. I don't really want to. Oh, these old. I don't know if these are old or not. Christmas ornaments. There you go. Some of them are old. Let's see what we got. 1971. Huh. Pretty cool. Blue Ridge have fun digging through them. I don't think they're worth that much. She'd have fun digging through them for sure. Mickey. Oh, Mickey. Christmas story. I got tons of stuff. Like, this one here has got so much trash in it. I'm trying to figure out how to separate it. More McDonald's toys. Good night, they got more junk than just junk. I don't even know. Look at all this just junk. What in the world? Always something. What is this? Oh, <laughs> plastic. The plastic Pope. John Paul. Pet Stevens. Not look like there's very much in here worth a darn, I hate to say. Look at that. It's an old camera. I might sell in my booth. A little dinged up though. Looks like a young boy. Uh, it is, 1999. Check this out, Jacob. Another Lake Placid poster. Yeah, I hope I pulled that out. Broken, but. I pulled that out. I knew that was worth it. I wonder underneath it. I'm I like that. I'd like to buy that too. I thought that was cool. It, unfortunately it's broken. This is what I want you to look at. I like that. Keep that lake plastic thing. Take it out of that frame for me. Uh -huh. And I'll come back up and just set it aside. Uh -huh. And I'll come back and buy just the Never mind, I'll have to show you another time. You know those like body things that you used to get? Yeah, yeah, ab loungers. It's something like it's like brand new in the box. Yeah. Like, it hasn't even been opened. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely buy an ab lounger. Man, what in the world? Some weird things. They sell too, but I don't really want to sell it. Yeah, I mean, I could buy so much. Y'all, remember, decon. Look for decon. There's so much stuff in here. Good night, almighty. Yes, there he is. I mean, this is the stuff that I need to go through. Yeah. Records that IBM back there. I've said that twice now. I gotta pick it up. This thing, you need to find somebody who's gonna pay you money for this because this has got some value. Sure. But the key is, I think, I think I'd list that on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. I think that's what I'd do. All right. Well, this for another day, I guess. For another day. There's a slim line. Oh gosh, it's so dirty though. Yeah. 
The Samsonite Slimline is blue. It needs so much cleaning. These actually sell for decent money. But I don't want to fuss with that. The jacket. What kind of jacket? Eddie Bauer. A little bit. I don't want to mess with any of it. Sony DVD player, empty box. Here's another door. Good yeah, night, almighty. Look at those old t shirts, old shirts. Redskins fans. Christmas 07. Fragile. Start. What'd you say? T-shirts. Vintage Redskins. Hey. Huh? I brought your bag out here. Thank you. Dude, there's so much just garbage. There's so much type of stuff. They have so much stuff glassware that says this type Planning of stuff. It. Yeah. So much of it. Yeah, somebody. I wonder if it's not Emerson Creek pottery, but it sure doesn't look like it. Yeah. Alright, what do we got here? We got a single stitch. Redskins shirt in absolutely terrible condition. <laughs> oh, golly. Jesus, All folded up and cleaned. It's single stitch, but man, it's trash. That's your bag. Yeah, thank you. I'll grab that for the kids. I love that story. And clear which model loves that. That's vintage. I think Hong Kong. Write down that name. The name that's on that painting is the same thing that's on. I've seen five or six pieces of pottery. So, so I think I don't think they necessarily made all the pottery they painted, but then somebody else is making the pottery up there. So ask her who in the family was doing it, or just ask her what that name is. Okay. I'd be curious. These are two cool books right here. Hey, um, I'm gonna grab across, these for sure. If you come across a really yeah. nice, you know, comfortable. Uh, queen or double size box spring or mattress. Okay. Would you let me know? Because I will. I'm gonna when I go back up there to bring this lady some things. Huh. I'm, I'm gonna get her a bed. Okay. Oh yeah, the lady who you're dealing with with this place. Yeah. Okay, we can do that. Well, All right, so. This is, value tails are worth a bunch of money, but you need to have a bunch. You know, one's not worth too much, although it's probably worth selling on its own. But I need him to see that so he can look for it as he keeps working and set it aside for me. So if you see any of these right here, see this value and respect? It's called value tail. If you find any of these downstairs, keep them aside. The whole set will go for a couple hundred if you get. You want me to keep? If you I'll get a bunch for, I'll put it inside. Okay. That's why I said I don't want to lose it though, because I'll even take one. You see that? If you yeah, find any of those, those usually come in sets. If you find those, keep them aside. Those are good. Like you, I've you sold like only? 30, 40, 50 of these for a couple hundred dollars before. But you gotta have a bunch. So I'm gonna set this in the windowsill because up there, all the books kind of need to go in the Game box. Hey, this is Electrolux here, I think. Yeah, it is. So if you oh, all yeah. find some there's big, we got vacuums. There's a big vacuum like this. Oh, okay. yeah, there's a, like a brand. There's if you in see there. some, I'll take the hoses and stuff off of them. Oh, really? I got some stuff at the house. Like the vacuum cleaning stuff. Old I got, stuff. I got a Kirby. Old oh, Scrabble. It's another Scrabble. What's this? RSVP. Three-dimensional Scrabble. Take both of those. An old clue. Which you can part these out if you really want to, but I don't think I'm gonna. Old wooden dice and clue. I don't want to take them all out and mess them up. I'll have to put them back in here in a second. 
There's a board game Hero Quest. If y'all ever see Hero Quest, what is this? I'll take that. It's got quite a bit of value. Hero Quest. All right, nothing in here. So I'll just fill it back up and you can take it out there because it's all board games. Okay. Throw it over on Because that's exactly, you see, like I, I, would, I would say don't sell that right now. If you want to. <laughs> well, there's that's okay. why I want somebody so like There you. are some board games worth money. Look, here's like, a box I'm gonna of take straws. these two out of these here. These might be worth 20,000 in another five years. Hey. <laughs> because you, you can't, can't get, get a plain. straw. Yeah, you can't get plastic <laughs> rid of them. straws, dude. Dang. Keep them in the box and let's put them in my <laughs> collection room. All right, you're going to have to pick this up, Jacob. I can't pick it up. Hello everybody, thanks for joining us on the Commonwealth Picker Channel. We always appreciate it when you come out and join us. We found a few good things today and had some fun. So if you want to see what we're selling this stuff for, go check us out on the Commonwealth Flipper Channel. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. See you next time.